a patient comes to the emergency department with severe abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. They try to get a hold of their primary care physician and couldn't. They waited for the pain to get improved and it didn't, so they showed up to the emergency department where the ED physician diagnoses them with having acute pancreatitis. Hi, I'm Dr. Nazanin Jamal. I'm a board certified internal medicine physician and my aim is to empower you with basic medical knowledge. So let's begin. Acute pancreatitis is an inflammation of the pancreas, which is a digestive organ along with the stomach, the small and large intestines, the gallbladder, helps to digest the food that enters the body. The job of the pancreas is to digest the food through a mechanism of enzyme secretions. A lot of these enzymes are stored in the pancreas and released upon the entry of food into the body. One of the enzymes is a base, uh, which is also known as bicarbonate. Now, the enzymes help to break down the digestive contents of the food into tiny pieces and for its nutritional value, which is later absorbed by your small intestines. Eventually, that food will be excreted from the gastrointestinal tract in the form of feces. Now, the pancreas is also involved in blood sugar management. It secretes enzymes and hormones. One of the hormones is insulin and the other is glucagon. Now, these hormones are needed to maintain the blood sugar level. And when there's a deficiency of the insulin or the insulin that's produced is not functioning very well or normally, diabetes can result. In type 1 diabetics, patients usually have difficulty with producing the enzyme. Pancreatitis is a common admission to the hospital. It's one of the most common gastrointestinal reasons of admission. Now, gallstones count for 80 to 90 percent, and then alcohol abuse is also a very common cause. When the patients present to the emergency department, they'll get a basic series of tests, including a CBC, CMP, lipase, maybe amylase. They may or may not get CT imaging. And ultimately, with blood enzymes and, and a physical exam, the physician is able to tell whether or not the patient is suffering from acute pancreatitis. They may decide to look at the pancreas with a CT scan, but usually a gallbladder ultrasound is evaluated for first. Now, many emergency departments do not have access to an ultrasound, so they'll use a CT scan. And a CT scan may be helpful in determining whether or not necrosis or pancreatic death is visualized. The ED doctor will consult with the hospitalist for admission and together they will decide the appropriate location for you if you end up developing acute pancreatitis. Now, severe causes of pancreatitis can be managed in the ICU. Often a surgeon may or may not be consulted if they feel gallstones are a cause of the problem. However, if you have very severe pancreatitis, you may have to wait for surgery, but in most cases of simple, uncomplicated pancreatitis, you may get your gallbladder removed during the admission. Alcohol abuse is a common cause of acute pancreatitis. Think about an episode of binge drinking or just common excessive drinking on a daily basis or every other day. And usually patients will return to the emergency department with another round of pancreatitis. So alcohol cessation, or severe restrictions in alcohol use are advised for patients um, that have that as the cause. Once patients are admitted to the hospital, they will get IV or intravenous fluids, IV pain medications, and IV nausea medications. These medications help with the treatment and the resolution of pancreatitis, and usually the patient will not be allowed to eat or drink any food. The idea is to give the bowels a bowel rest and thereby allow the pancreas to recover before reintroducing food to the body. Once the decision to admission is made, the physician will also decide whether or not to admit the patient to the ICU or the general medical unit. A surgeon may be consulted on the case, and if a patient is suffering from mild, uncomplicated pancreatitis from gallstones, then the gallbladder will be removed in the surgery cholecystectomy. However, if there is a very severe version of pancreatitis, the patient will likely have to wait four to six weeks to schedule the gallbladder removal at a later time. Risk factors for being admitted to the hospital include older age, being a male, and heavy alcohol use. And some patients will return to the hospital sometimes several months to years later with their second bout of acute pancreatitis. Remember, acute pancreatitis is very common and it is called from gallstones 
and from alcohol use. Please submit any questions you have below and until next time.